Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of Let's Play! Yeah! Joining us this week uh, is Riz. How you doing this week, Riz? Hi. Uh, also joining us uh, is Shotty. Shit away, you know that. What? Not yet. Hi! Ch <laughs> Well, you just said hi. <laughs> so, I know. And it, it, it sounded like you wanted me to say some other things. But go ahead. You just said hi, and you I just thought arguing? that, that you was a fighting? good thing. Stop fighting. We're supposed to have fun. <laughs> Stop it. I hate when mommy and or daddy and daddy Wait. fight. I got tits. On Is that oh. legal yet? Did that thing pass? <laughs> no. no hate. Uh, Sorg. No hate. Yes. Also joining us this week is Sorg. <laughs> Uh, how are you doing this week, Sorg? I'm fine. I, wow, I, this is... I have I have a new coffee machine and I'm ready to go. Nice, nice. All right, uh, what have we all been playing this week? Sorg, what have you been playing? I have been playing The Usual Suspects, Black Ops 2, and uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, but... Oh, and but uh, thanks to uh, my ever-loving brother uh, that that uh, got me one, not one, but two games for my birthday. Uh, one I played a little bit before, at about six thirty in the morning as I was getting ready for work yesterday, and I saw it come through. Uh, uh, Duke Nukem 3D is it Meltdown Edition? Oh wow! Uh, basically everything Duke Nukem 3D, like Duke it out in DC. It has like the beach one and everything. Uh, let me see if I can Duke uh, Nukem does... Steam. Um, oh, and and still, still Duke Nukem 3D is far more pure fun in the five minutes that I played it than all of Duke Nukem Forever so far. Oh wow! Uh, I was gonna say, does it include Duke Nukem Forever? It, it might as well as like an expansion <laughs> at this point, right? <laughs> expansion. Um, pack. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it's gonna be Duke Megaton Edition is the is the one that he got me. Um, and also, I had a wonderful surprise when I went to check my mail today. And I'm like, I did not order this package, uh, random package from Amazon. Uh, but he got me the uh, Gears of War two, uh, crazy all hands on deck edition, oh, nice. whatever oh. they call it. That includes all the uh, all the um, uh, maps and everything, and that, we that was... we we had a playthrough co op on Gears of War one, and I had I did not know I, I'm pretty sure he's had Gears of War two for a while, but he's been apparently sitting on it waiting for me to pick up the game so we oh, can play it together. Wow. And that... now that we're in separate places, it's even better because we don't have to split screen. So. I think Gears two is probably the best one out of is the it? three Gears of yeah. War games. I did re I did really enjoy the first one, mm. uh, like way more than I expected to, and and the only reason I got it is because I got enough tickets at uh, at, at Dave and Buster's. Uh, one night, uh, so 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 we did that. Oh, um, how many game, How many tokens does that tickets does that have? We we kind of found the sweet spot on the ticket machines. Oh, <laughs> and just started plugging away at it. I think it was the the, the coins that fall off the the the, cl the cliff thing. Uh, we were just like hit, we're just really we're like, well, we get a lot of tickets with this. Let's see where this goes. Uh, and and yeah, it, it, that was that was that was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, yeah. So that's uh, that's kind of my perspectives uh, there. Uh, uh, Riz. First of all, uh, Chachi. Ch is Chachi there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, go, go, go! Screw yourself. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Um, you're welcome, Riz. Whoa! Whoa. Ever mm -hmm. since last Tuesday, mm -hmm. I've played one game on my <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm finding out more and more about myself every time I play. <laughs> Is this the seven words one? No. Number munchers. Number munchers. <laughs> I, I about that one. I I learned that I'm not good at math. <laughs> well, isn't that why you went to a more uh, 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 physical occupation? Yes. Yes, pretty much. Um, but yeah. If you're not playing Number Munchers, go download it now on iOS or Android. It's very, fair, very so, fun, very retro. Um, but also, I've been playing the usual suspect uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and Words with Friends, and Major League Baseball 2K13. And I'll get into this later. And I'm going to change my. I'm going to change this because it says Marv. Marvel Heroes. What? I got a beta key for it. Hmm. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit later. Thanks. So, Bobby? Yes. I have been playing Black Ops 2, of course. 
like every one of us. I had a pretty decent game this week that I recorded for the first time. I saved a game. Um, I've been playing Marvel Avengers Alliance, and I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going after Ant-Man. I know he's not that great of a hero, oh, but... Oh, he's a white beater! Ah, yeah, but he's a good character in the game. He's really good. I, was, I underestimated him. a white-beating character. I went after Havoc, and Ant-Man's like a lot better than Havoc is in the game. Anyways, that's beyond the point. Um, I've been playing Marvel vs. DC, uh, or not Marvel vs. DC, Mar- Mortal Kombat vs. DC, uh, which is, it's okay. I, I paid $5 for it, so I'm getting $5 worth of entertainment out of it pretty much. Um, I've also uh, played a couple like various Facebook games and stuff like that, but this weekend, this Good Friday is going to be a great Friday. You know why, <laughs> gentlemen? <laughs> I'm this I don't know, but that should be the new tagline for Good Friday. This is why. Oh no! Oh. It's Koshmyab. In- <laughs> it's backwards. I <laughs> it's. I just I just got Bioshock Infinite today. Um, mm-hmm. A little bit more on that later, um, as it is setting the world on fire, review wise. So, um, that's what I played this week. Chachi, what'd you play? Oh, I played. Uh- the challenge, uh, the seven little words or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah try, I try. played Blobs as usual, and I started playing uh, Kerosoft's uh, game dev story for Android. So, um, and yeah, that's it. That's all I played. Okay. All right. All right. Well, um, moving on to our next segment, um, Riz, you want to talk a little bit about uh, Marvel Marvel uh, heroes? So yeah, I will. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to start out by saying my computer sucks. Okay. I'm just going to say yeah, that right now. Mean, right? But I tr- I said I just thought out that okay, I'm just going to do this for fun. You know, I'm just going to put on put my name in. If I get it, I get it. Who knows? Um, but Let's see. On last week, last week I I looked on my email and I saw that I received a key, a password for Marvel Heroes. Is something it like, I was it like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? You got a golden ticket and yeah, but I was in my room, so I didn't run anywhere. So I didn't like meet up with a weird, <laughs> so, so I didn't meet up with a weird guy in a bowler hat and in a trench coat who told me the flip books were the shit but anyways back to the thing i was talking about um the weird thing was i i i've done mmos before beta i actually was a beta a closed beta tester thingy for uh the family guy one don't know and it 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 besides the fact that it was more open than i thought it was going to be it was like just going, okay, you're here now, go play. But in Marvel Heroes, it's more, okay, these are your times. Don't, don't try to go in before, because you'll not go, you won't go in there. And then when you do get in there, it is quite the experience. Like I'm not an MMO guy myself. Mm-hmm. I don't claim to be my anything, but um, overall, the MMO aspect of marvel heroes the beta version is something that if i had a better computer and a better uh gra- better graphic card or something i would probably play hours of this game mm-hmm. and it's not because it's just heroes it's because it's an actually great is it actually a pretty good game for the, for the laptop i'm using um but yeah there's all these different heroes on there i just want to just want to show you guys or tell you guys about the heroes that are on here. Um, Sorg, if you want to click the the last... The ultimate pack? The ultimate pack. Yeah, I'm just going to do You it. go down and, and just, just look at everyone there. Yeah. You get you get, di- you get different Deadpools. You get different Cyclopses. You get different Wolverines. You get... Uh, well, if I, if I, so if I click on this, I'll go into like the all the various Deadpools, right? Yes. And there's like Pirate Deadpool. There's a Pirate like, Deadpool. It's, it's and ridiculous. a Sheriff. He's a sheriff. A sheriff Deadpool. <laughs> yes. And but it I haven't used I haven't bought any of the packs yet. I'm 
waiting to see if I could or not. Mm -hmm. And, um, who knows, maybe by the end of our shows tonight, I can go out and play another, uh, beta test because it's coming back online and, oh, it's online right now, actually. So Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm wasting time with you guys. (laughs) <laughs> uh thanks uh, I'm, uh yeah. it's fun here yay oh we feel but still it, it's a it, if you haven't got the beta test yet june 4th it comes out in the in the public eye and i would suggest you guys pick that up awesome well, if looks- you're if you're into heroes and Marvel. What, what is the gameplay like is it pretty like typical mmo or like action it's, or or what it's 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 typical MMO. It's a top. It's a I don't know how you call it. It's the top base version of it. So it's like the isometric view, kind of like yeah, like, like kind of like X Men Legends or something. Yeah, and it's not it's not one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. It's always you're always moving and you're always hitting other people while you're doing stuff. Like I'm Thing and I knock two people out with my punch at okay, one point. Cool. So <laughs> it's it I, I'm. What? I'm probably going to be able to play this if I had another, you know, better computer. But still. So yeah. what do you what do you do? You just fight? Or? Um, it's they have they have a mission based and they have a mission base and uh, the for the prologue. The, the weird thing about the prologue is when I started it up, there I guess there were supposed to be more people in my group than me. So. When I finished the prologue, nothing happened at the end. Hmm. And it, every time I try to go to the actual beginning of the game, the chapters in the game, it wasn't going to let me go. So, but the the weird we we talked about uh, actors before, the voice actors, mm-hmm. and Nick Fury. You you all know that he probably has the voice of Samuel L. Jackson based off the Avengers. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, and even the cartoon kind of Even, kind of even the along. cartoon did that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for guys like me who who heard this voice, uh, the, the guys, guys like me, I heard this voice before and I freaked out because I know that's not Nick Fury. Mm-hmm. That's, Com- that's Commander Anderson or Colonel Anderson from Mass Effect. <laughs> I'm, that's how that's how good I think about stuff. It's like, you got oh, mess. that's that that's not that's Anderson. What's he doing in Marvel? You and got mass re- effect in my Marvel universe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's but still, it I, I do I do like it, and I hope that I get to play more of it once I get you know once there's more of a uh, download thing. And I'll be better off with it, so maybe the beta will upload for me this time. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Chachi, I believe you have something for us again as well. It's Loot Crate Day. Yay! Loot Crate Day. Let's loot. I mean, wait, no, let's not loot. <laughs> um, I took it out of the box already because we've seen the box. Um, this month is called uh, Cosmos. It covers it's out, it's space. Out of space. Space. Yep. Space. Um, space. And this space. doesn't really... Actually, it does. Um, the oh, first thing it. is, and it's hard to see, but it's a uh, another uh, gel bracelet. Oh, nice. um, this Konami time code. has Konami the code. Konami code on it. Um, this very nice vinyl sticker hmm. uh, from Dead Space. Space. Mm. Space. Um, two uh, collectible Star Wars postcards. Nice. When you have to go out of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> um, a hex bug. And let me take it out so you can actually see it. Oh, does it, act, does it actually work? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Um, those hex bugs. They're different than one I was thinking of. Um, but yeah, get, you turn it I, on, have, and it basically just scatters across the surface. Have you like ever the, seen the, the commercial? Thing, the little thing fucking moves. Have you ever seen the commercial for the hex bugs? Yeah. I want to buy that many hex bugs and put them on a table like that kid has and just, like, just lay in them. 
<laughs> you just want to roll around um, in hex bugs. It came with a uh, live long and prosper uh, button, but that's already gone. Oh, it, oh and and long, live, live long and prosper. Nice. Yoda! It's a Yoda bobblehead for those on audio. What's that? I said it's a Yoda bobblehead for those on audio. Yeah, and uh, the last thing is a, uh, a pop uh, Yoda's uh, bobblehead. Oh. It's so, so cute. Yeah, awesome. There you go. That's this month's Loot Crate. Awesome as always. Nice. We need cool. like, intro music for Loot Crate. And of course, you can go loot to lootcrate.com. L O O T Crate. Since we yes. found out we've been, some people have not, <laughs> as we found out in the awesome cast tonight, that some people don't know uh, how, how, what we were saying. And we're sorry for Luke Crate. We're, yeah, yeah, we're, we're sorry. Uh, we're sorry that you keep on hey, getting. Hey, there was Star Wars stuff in it this time, okay? <laughs> A Luke Skywalker crate. Yes, and, and sorry to the person who uh, doesn't own LukeCrate.com. Uh, yeah. you, you were getting uh, the traffic you didn't know about. I don't think you want to go to Luke Crate. <laughs> That's an entirely different site. Um, yeah. All right, uh, now it's time for things you should be made aware of. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, we did have themes like things you should be, you made, should be aware made aware of. Aware of. Uh, you didn't know, it's but now right. you're gonna. You're informed. <laughs> Actually, it should be the uh, the uh, discovery music from uh, Legend of Zelda. <laughs> things, things we found this week, and we'll just hold up like videos if we can I like do that. that. Somebody, ah. put the, somebody sent me a to do on that one, and we'll get that done. <laughs> All right. Uh, the first thing that I want to mention is at ThinkGeek, uh, ThinkGeek.com. Mm-hmm. Um, it is a Borderlands Two. Swag filled limited edition diamond plate loot chest. Holy crap! That's, That's the name of it. It's ninety nine dollars. <laughs> it's Bobby it's on available for. I, I think you can uh, pre order it. I don't think you can pre order. I think you can just email me when it co- becomes available. Um, it says coming soon. Um, they think it's coming going to come out in, on June sixth. Um, what this is is an actual crate f- from the game made real. It's a different kind of loot crate. Yeah, it's wait, a definitely wait, a different wait, kind wait. of loot crate. Wait, you um, get, what? Like, get the different guns and stuff from? The- oh, no, there, there, there are no guns in it. And I, of course, uh, they can't give out the guns in the game because I mean, they like, don't exist. Like, um, but what Obama. you get, stupid Obama. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you get in the, the in this loot crate is a uh, Vault Hunters wanted poster of each of the the four original uh, Vault Hunters. Uh, you get a, a Goliath replica mask plus in-game uh, head for your character. Um, you get the crate itself. You get a uh, certificate of authenticity, a uh, legendary items card, um, plus shift codes to um, obtain each of the legendary uh, items in the game, and window decals. So I think that's pretty cool for 99 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. For Might your- be a little pricey, but it, it, as, if you're a huge Borderlands 2 fan, it's worth it. Like Bobby. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get it. Probably not. But <laughs> it's nice to know there's an option out there that I can get it if I want it. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to know it's available. I see. Yeah, I just I want to know it's available. Uh, another thing from uh, Think Geek it are cartridge pillows. If you ever wanted to sleep on a Nintendo cartridge oh, yeah. and didn't want the hard <laughs> plasticness of it, <laughs> you can sleep on a Nintendo pillow. Cartridge. Kind of want these. Hey, you the know ga- what? Oh, go ahead. The games aren't real on them. Uh, oh. Unicorn's Revenge <laughs> and Lava Jump are the two that they have available now. Um, I guess you get two pillows, uh, and they're thirty four ninety nine each, thirty five dollars. Which Wait, for, the for pair? pillows, for yeah, you get two pillows for the thirty five dollars. And you can get the size of it right there. You know, you know what? What that would be good to go with, Bobby. What's that? So we're looking at looking the notes, mm. and right under it, right I, under I, it, they can go really well with your with your uh, cartridge pillows. Is the is an actual Nintendo bed set? Oh, nice! Hold on, hold on. Where, it's wait, the entire where? bed set with controller pillows. Hold on, guys. You got you got you got to organize the links here for me. Oh. Yeah, where is it? I don't see all right. it. it. It's kind of blended in with your last one. It's blended on. All, all right. right, all right, here we go, here we go, and whoop. 
Whoa! So, yes. I don't that, think that's available for sale, but that's sweet. No, that's, I, I, I don't know, that. but I know people who can make those. Uh, yep. All right. And now I'm emailing I them to like them now. <laughs> I want it on my Christmas list. Like <laughs> Hold on. I'm, right. I'm, 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 yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry, uh, Bobby. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's okay. I just that's wanted okay. to throw that out there. Oh, I, I've seen the Nintendo bed before, and I yeah. want it. I want to sleep in a Nintendo. And, Bobby, go ahead and ruin Chachi's day right now. Oh, also the pillows you don't have to blow on to get them to work. Uh, They're pretty uh, soft, as, as yeah. is. And, Chachi, I am so sorry to bring this up. I know I am excited for this game. I know you guys hate it. You hate it when I bring it up. I don't care. Final Fantasy X. Is coming back in an HD remastered wait, version. What? What? Why did that? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Like, I'm not a hater or lover of Final Fantasy X, but why is that the one that gets to come back? I, I it was po- it was a popular game. It's probably one of the the second pro- pro- probably second only to seven, as far as popularity goes. Um, the trailer is in German. <laughs> which is kind of <laughs> it's thick in Germany. But if you order it, if, if the the game is on is coming out for PS3. Um, it's going to have Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X 2 on okay. the same disc. All right. If you, if you get them for Vita, it's separate. They're separated. Now, this isn't the first time they've done this because they've done the same thing with the God of War games, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they've they've released like different HD collections. For so different it sounds games. like they're hitting up like what were the best sellers that they'll resell. Yeah, so, exactly. That Anything sense. that had like a greatest hits. Yeah, yeah. They'll and go and, for and it. those are definitely like, uh, and I don't know how many other games they might have done this with just yet. Uh, but I mean, just thinking of God of War and Final Fantasy X, it's uh, that's those are two of the top, mm-hmm. you know, games oh, yeah. there. Unless you go, you know, and, and plus there are ones that, well, one's a Sony game, the other's a Square game. But, um, you know, games that, you know, Sony was pretty involved with like I don't, I don't see a grand theft auto 3 hd coming out or anything like that yeah know? i no, um but that's but, too too detailed exactly like I, I think i think these are the right ones that, that, that deserve the treatment like that mm-hmm. so well because most of it is uh cutscenes and stuff like that which yeah yeah would be easy to easy to um, there was a lot of great uh those, and also think about those are two games with a lot of great atmosphere oh yeah so yeah very, very, very depressing game. But... <laughs> wait, wait, which one? The God of War or no? Fi- Final Fantasy. Oh, okay, okay, very okay. Depressing. All right. Well, you know what? When you feel depressed, Bobby, I got you know. You could just hug a pillow. Oh, that's shaped like a cartridge. That's shaped like a cartridge. Or if you're really stressed out and need to get that out, you could blow on it. I wonder <laughs> if you drop them if they rattle. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't this fit in my NES? Like you can just imagine, this like going, rattling. Going, I don't want to. Just, I want to play Lava Jump. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I think you guys have some stuff in here too. I... <laughs> this is a good host. This is. I think. I think you yeah. guys are going to do something, right? We, yeah, you guys are we, doing this something. Are we doing, are we, I what, Riz? Uh, so, Wait, Sorg, you put that one in the notes. What? You put that one. The uh, eight bit X dot com. No, I did. Oh, okay, Chaji. What, what's uh, that? Eight bit X dot com is is a uh, online, um, fully dedicated video game music radio site. Ooh, oh. so like a Pandora um, it's, for chip tune. Uh, it's chip tune. It's uh, video game theme remixes. It's video game theme covers, um, and there's also. Um, Nerd-based uh, radio shows on there as well. Oh wow! Um, I'm glad it's all I was online. Made of that. So yeah, go Are check we out on uh, there. I mean, I There's apparently talk radio. Apparently talk radio for all radio your video now. game radio needs. Yeah. <laughs> when you're not they, listening to Let's Play at insertcointobegin.com. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Check that out. And also, um, the Walking Dead episode one is free on Xbox Live right now. Oh yeah, I put that in there too. That is awesome because any, anybody, um, if you haven't checked out The Walking Dead, uh, check it out. It's an amazing show. It. I haven't played it yet. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh! I thought the episode was no, the, the show. Oh, I, I actually thought, the Telltale game yeah, is what yeah, you're talking I about. Always, okay, I also okay, hear okay. Good, it's very good. Good game. Oh, it's a very good game. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I haven't played downloaded, it, yet, but I downloaded it. Um, I downloaded the all episodes over. To be... I think. Um, extremely cheap, uh, almost half off, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Um, I, the tweet I favorited to remind me, and I completely forgot, um, said that um, with the first one being free and the rest of them on sale, um, it pretty much equals out to them being uh, $10 total. For that's the whole yeah, that's, that's, that's what I paid bad. for mine. And they too, always, they like, uh, I, I picked up, I, I still need to get through it, but uh, I picked up the Back to the Future collection like that. Oh, those episodic oh, nice. kind of ones uh, where they're, they're, they're pretty cheap in the long run for like the whole pack, uh, at least on Steam. So yeah. I'll always keep out, uh, especially those episodic ones. Uh, they always have pretty good deals on that. And usually the first episodes of them are tend to be free on the iPad and iPhone as well. So, um, but cool. yeah. So, so now that we've talked about a good Walking Dead game, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about one that's not so good. Okay. Uh, the Walking Dead... Uh, Survival Instinct came out this week. Really? I, I didn't hear yes. about this. Yes. It, it's the, the the Telltale game was based on the comic book. Okay. The, this new game is based on the show. And oh. normally that would be a good thing, no, but the gameplay that's usually not a good thing. No. The, oh, the gameplay is so bad. Sorg, there's a video yeah, I posted yeah, I'm about that to pull um, it up here. you can show some of the some of the uh, examples of how bad this thing is. Why aren't the zombies attacking him? Oh, just wait until he switches to his knife, Hold as on. you can see. Hold on, we, we froze up a little bit here. Oh, we froze up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's he's looking at them, and they're not giving a crap. No, yeah, they're just like, <laughs> left for dead. Away. This is not. Oh, one noticed. Oh, <laughs> the, 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 oh. Is that, that's the uh, oh, zombies one. turning it on the fence. Why does oh, he have a flashlight God, in the middle, is... like? Uh, like outside, I don't. What? There was there was a part that I was watching today that he had a a knife, okay, or he had a gun switched, and his hands were like pointed like a gun should be pointed, mm-hmm. and then he switched to his tactical knife, but his hands stayed in the gun position, and he just had uh, a knife, and he was going like this with the knife, <laughs> like it was terrible. Well, those glitches happen in every game. Yeah, with some more than others, but, you know. Yeah, yeah but it's it's all over this game. I mean, Still, it, it's getting really it, bad reviews. It looks um, really, really, really there bad. There was a, there was a part where he crowd surfed over a horde of zombies. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh wait, 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 there wait. It is. is this supposed to be like something for uh, like Gary's mod or something? For something for like uh, Half Life Two? It looks like it or. No, this no. is an actual is it, is it, sixty dollar game that oh, came God. out this week. This is an actual game. <laughs> actual an actual gameplay. It says right there. Hold on. There it well, is. See, the thing the thing about this game is that originally and I guess it didn't end up like that, um, but it was supposed to be the most realistic um, zombie game uh, to date. Um, and they they said that because the zombies would actually um, react uh, as uh, well. And obviously, zombies aren't real, um, but <laughs> as if they would. Wait, what? Um, what? In Wait, real life. They're still real to me, <laughs> damn it! I, I, and what I mean by that is, if you like, there's supposed to be uh, ways for you to mask your scent. Hmm. Where if you do so. Uh, correctly, the zombies won't attack you because they don't know you're there. And that's, that's what he did, um, it, It's supposed to have uh, sound sensors and stuff um, for the zombies as well, where if they don't hear you because you're you're using like a knife or something, um, they won't come hoarding towards you. Oh. But apparently none of that worked out because you guys are saying this game is terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's getting bad reviews all around. Um, which brings us to a game that got good reviews reviews this week. Bioshock Infinite, which, look, it's regular, isn't it? Yes, is it, it is. is it yes. yes. It's actually it looks Bioshock like Bioshock. <laughs> it does look like Bioshock. We're in the right place. I fixed place. it. Good. Um, uh, critics have been enthralled with this. Enthralled with this game. Um, I was looking on Kotaku. Um, game Informer gave it, gave it a ten out of ten. Joystick gave it a one hundred. Um, IGN gave it a ninety five. PC Gamer gave it a ninety one. It, it's the lowest score was an eighty that, that, that they rounded up on Kotaku, which was from a video gamer, which I've never heard of them. So. Their opinion is invalid. Oh, um, yeah, the Verge. I was reading one one review on the Verge uh, mm-hmm. where he he was talking about how the game was jaw dropping. Literally, I found myself with my jaw hanging out 
at, <laughs> at least two points in this game, including the tremendous ending to it. Oh wow! So so I should be playing this without my pants <laughs> and with a gigantic bottle From of what I'm uh, gathering. Lotion. I don't think you're too far off there now. And the headline... I should just be just going town on myself, right? <laughs> the headline on Yahoo about this game was, is this the perfect video game? Yeah. Yeah, I, see, I saw that too. I was like, what? Yeah. So I, I'm going to be playing that. And 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 a bonus that I found out about today, if you insert, if you put the Konami code in, you unlock 1999 mode, which they talked about you would only be able to unlock it after you beat the game. Mm-hmm. Which it's like a more challenging mode, like um, Master Quest and Zelda and stuff like that. So oh, wow, like death is permanent in that you only get now, so many power ups and stuff. Now I, I'm not counting Bioshock Two, but I, I have I'm you know over halfway through Bioshock One. Absolutely love mm-hmm. the experience, um, and I can't think of another game that's been as atmospheric and kind of mm-hmm. pitch perfect from from point to point in it as as a Bioshock. Uh, so far, like even something like Assassin's Creed, like like at certain points, like Assassin's Creed feels grand, feels cool, but at a certain point, it feels wooden to me. You know, because uh, there's a lot of like dead eye acting going on. Yeah, um, yeah, I can see that. But this one really just, you know, and, and, and everything I'm seeing from the new one looks like it's like even just pumped up even more. So yeah, I'm excited to play it this weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, we- <laughs> and our final news story. Please tell me this is real. Please tell me this is real. Uh, it, it's it's real. It's real. Yeah. Um, Ducktales. Do you guys remember playing Ducktales on the in Nintendo? Oh, it's, it, it, <laughs> oh. it is coming back oh, for the God. Wii U. What? No. Yeah, it's. I think it's only for the Wii U. I got to do a- more research on that, but I, that, that's what I've heard. Um, oh. It's going to be available in the Wii U store. Um, it's DuckTales Remastered. It's in HD. The original game, they're redoing in HD. So, like, all the levels are the same. Uh, yeah, all the levels stuff. are the same. We just, like, put this, like, awesome parallax stuff in the backgrounds and, and everything. Yeah, it's going to be... So. This will probably be the... If I ever had a Wii or a Wii U and or any Nintendo console that does this, this will probably be the only game... <laughs> that I go out and buy, which is a remastered game. Yeah. Like I would probably not like as much as I'm a Zelda fan. I probably wouldn't buy Legend of Zelda. Uh, I'd buy, I'd buy Wind Waker remastered, the but, HD version of that that's me? coming out. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. Yes. Sword. Right. Sword. You have the floor. Super Mario All Stars. Yeah, I'd buy that too. Remastered. Yeah. <sighs> loved it. Loved Mario All Stars. If they do an HD one, you, are you mean, or oh, just I mean, the original I'm one? I'm just saying, I, we we're talking about redone, remastered, regrabbed Oh, yeah, games. yeah. Like, I think that's the pinnacle. That was the first one, right? Yeah, that, and that's the one they had uh, the lost levels and everything mm-hmm. that from Japan they brought over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I still think that was the the epitome of, like, that was the, the def- def- definitive uh, Mario experience was that cartridge. Or, and even better, if got one of those cool pack-ins that was that and Mario World packed in. Yeah. Yeah, which see, I believe. Mario Mario is missing was not in that pack. <laughs> I'm let's going back to the old let's, stuff. Let's not get into that again. Go didn't fuck they, yourself. Didn't they, like, <laughs> just, sorry, side note. Didn't they have like a version of the Super Nintendo that had Mario's missing as a pack in? I, I think feel so. like this existed. Oh, why? <laughs> they put Mario missing is missing in the game, but all the consoles were not missing in the store. If you catch uh, my drift. Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right Uh, it's time for a boss battle (laughs) moving on before i get myself in trouble with uh the mario's missing hatred with with Um, internet (laughs) uh this week's boss battle is related to what riz brought to the table this week marvel (laughs) heroes uh what superhero game have you invested the most time in Ooh, Ooh. Ooh. gentlemen discuss uh i gotta go with x-men legends Ah, like nice. it was to the point a, a friend had uh, had picked it up for a GameCube, and uh, we like we like had sessions where we just I went over to his place and we played, and we I think we had somebody else involved. Like we might have had like three to four people playing it through. <laughs> uh, so and this is you know before the internet, 
over <laughs> the internet. I feel like we went through both one and two collectively. Oh wow! Uh, so so yeah, I, I, that has to be the the the, the most time I've spent uh, it, with it. I, I, but I know the Spider-Man game I'm playing my, playing on my iPhone feels like the longest, but <laughs> <laughs> the, the max, and, and, maximum destruction oh. or something I think it is. Yeah, so. yeah that. That, yeah, I think I know which one you mean. It's fun. It, it's a fun little beat 'em up. So, uh, the the more the, the, going back to the X Men Legend Legends games, they were they were super fun. I mm-hmm. I had those for the uh, PS2, I think, and uh, I I had a, a blast with those. Um, the one I have down as the one I invested the most time in, besides of course Marvel Avengers Alliance, which I'm a level 100 and something. That in does there not already. count. Uh, <laughs> That's a Facebook game, I know. Um, probably, be, uh, probably would be um, Batman: Arkham City. Oh, yeah, would be mine. Yeah, uh, yeah. excellent game. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. It's probably, the, I think, the best superhero game ever to come out. And it's Mark Hamill's last time as the Joker. And, uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, maybe. I'm, not, I'm not familiar. It is I, I, truly the Bioshock of superhero video games. Yeah, yes. yeah. And and I, I went around ch- cl- trying to collect all the Riddler trophies. That should tell you how oh, into wow. the game I was, because I usually the don't twi- go around collecting things. The twist at the end of the game. Oh, I know. Oh, that, 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 I'm not, don't spoil I'm not, it. That, don't spoil it, but it was amazing. I'm not saying anything. And the fact it's... that, and, and I've, I've listened to interviews on Fat Man on Batman, Kevin Smith's show, and uh, mm-hmm. the fact that Paul Dini wrote the script for those Arkham games, is, is which was oh, like yeah. the best episodes of animated series were written by this guy. So Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, a side note, I found that the game is actually Ultimate Spider-Man Total Mayhem that I've been playing. So oh, again, okay. fun little beat 'em up. Just like you know, cool. not, don't expect much out of this. It's just an iPhone game. It's probably like a buck or something, and it's just kind of fun. Huh. Chachi, you have one. Um, either uh, Spider-Man versus Venom on oh, Super Maximum Nintendo. Carnage. Maximum Carnage. Oh, yeah. oh, we spent some real a lot of time on that one. <laughs> um, that or uh, Lego uh, DC Heroes. Oh, I still yeah. have to play that. Yes, yeah. that's, a, that's a good one. The uh, um, Lego Batman Two. Um, mm-hmm. I spent a lot of time on that game. You see the movie coming out of Lego the of Lego Lego uh, DC superheroes? No, oh, nice. I didn't. There's a movie yeah, coming. Yeah, out? yeah. It, there was a trailer in front of uh, uh, Dark Knight Returns, like part two. And I'm like, oh, oh wow. wait, are they doing another game? Wait, this kind of looks like the game Chachi played. Oh my god, it's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> It's huh. for real. Isn't, isn't Will Arnett the voice of Batman? I I don't or know. Superman? I think he is. It's it's ridiculous. I, Lego. I think I heard that somewhere. <laughs> but I, since uh, Bobby, you took mine. Okay. Because I, I I too was going to go with. I actually had a tie, so you actually broke it for me. So I guess okay. I can say thank you. You're um, welcome. <laughs> but the game that I'm going to bring up is kind of similar. It's the X-Men arcade game. Oh, yeah! <gasps> that Prepare to die. Prepare to <laughs> die. Or, wait, no, it wasn't prepare to die. It was, no, it was uh, something else. Welcome, it was something like welcome Japanese. To die. It was welcome, welcome to, to die. die. That's what it was. That was it. And that's the show title. Anyways, the X-Men <laughs> arcade game. Now, now, did you play this one? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh Google, like yeah, I played, Google. I, I played Google before. <laughs> this one? No. Oh, is that the, the six-player one? The six-player oh, one? I did play that one once. I did, but I did not have uh, five friends to play with. I, I played it alone. <laughs> I didn't either. No, no, no. Ooh, but I also nice. played it on the console as well. Awesome. And it, it it's on Xbox Live right now. I can go yes. play it right now. It's on iPhone as well. I could still hear Colossus. <laughs> Uh-huh. <sighs> you're, you're gonna you're gonna make me buy that, aren't you, Sork? I, I have it. Just like just like Number Munchers last week, you're gonna yep. make me buy X Men the Arcade game on this my week's iPhone. challenge. Is X Men the Arcade game on Xbox Live Arcade or iOS <laughs> or iOS? Yeah. You know what? You know it's like a buck usually. Hold on a second. I, I'll buy it if you buy it. It's not I'll that expensive. It. Xbox um, Live. I think it's down to like what? Maybe. I'll do it right ten, now. Five or ten bucks. I ain't scared. I ain't scared of you, Riz. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll wantonly buy old arcade games on my phone with you, Riz. I ain't afraid of you. 
Oh, another game I played this week. Speaking of our conversation last week about old PC games, um, I downloaded uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. That's on a side note. Oh, GOG.com, well, right? Yeah, GOG.com uh, had a GOG. sale com about the games like, we were talking about. It's basically like Steam, but with everything you used to play. Yeah. Like 10 it's, years it's, ago. It's amazing. Really? It's tremendous. Check this site out. Yeah, it's uh, get, uh, good old games, I think they call themselves. Yeah. And, I mean, it's got new stuff. That? It's got newer stuff like like Far Cry Torch Life, but mm-hmm. a lot of it is I can find old DOS games and they've been set up so you know much like the Duke Nukem that I, I just got my you know from from my brother, uh, uh, they'll work on on newer machines. Like yeah. they, they just put the old Carmageddon's on there. Um, so What's it called bought, again, Sword? GOG dot com. Yeah. Like, should we put that as our? You know what? That's We're gonna go all out on this one. What's that? Play not, a game on that. That's our challenge. Well, I don't know because I mean stuff oh, like yeah. is like ten oh, bucks a piece wait, man, and stuff. Like it's mind. like five ninety nine for Duke Nukem Atomic Edition on this. They have yeah, they have yeah, the old Ultima awesome. games, Dungeon Keeper, System Shock Two. Uh, let's see what else we got. Dungeons and Dragons games. They have Forgotten all the Roller Realms. SimCity two thousands. Wing there? Commander. Pro- the, all the Wing Commanders are on here. It looks like Riven. Oh, oh. Like you, if you're like man, I remember that game. And we talked about yeah, old PC games last week. That this is where you find them. Mm-hmm. So that I, a Redneck Rampage. Oh man, I need to get <laughs> Redneck that one. Rampage. I love Redneck these, Rampage. dude. I love these like old. That's why I like like the Duke Nukem. I love these old like trying to be three D like 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 first person th- shooters like this. I, I think mean, Postal's on there too. They're so quirky, right? Uh, Postal's on there. Hey, too, right? Postal's on Steam, and you can run it on Linux. Throwing that oh, out oh. there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because if you have Linux, you have you're, you have the sensibilities to play Postal. Um, but yeah, it, right. it, it, it's tremendous just for looking through it and be like, God, I remember that. And I can buy yeah. that. So. Nostalgia. <laughs> so, Sorg, you you made me do it. Did you do it? I, I didn't put my I password already, in yet. I already did it. So um, our challenge this week is X-Men... The arcade yeah, game. The arcade is it, game. Now it is a dollar. It uh, is ninety nine cents at least either, on the iPhone. Either on Xbox on, or yeah, we're on Xbox. Uh, on Xbox, or, there's a demo on Xbox. There is a too, demo. Okay, okay. So, so you can you can play good. that for free if you don't feel like uh, ponying up the quarters you can for the share game. This on Facebook. <laughs> that you would have on <laughs> <Really>? Facebook. <laughs> Enable Facebook. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to. Everybody <laughs> needs to know how, how bad I'm playing. Oh, that's not right. Uh, how bad <laughs> I'm playing X Men on my phone right now. Uh, tremendous. Yeah, I, I know it's not HD, but it's definitely X-Men and Retina display, so that yes. works for me, right? Nice. So. nice. So, all right. Well, all right. Well, Take us um, home, Bobby. You can follow us on uh, at insertcointobegin.com or insertcointobegintv on Twitter. Uh, you can visit our site at insertcointobegin.com. Um, so and that'll do it for this week. What's that? There's local multiplayer on iPhone. We need to be in the same place, sir. <laughs> I know. I know. You're on the other end of the city. We're going to do this. Sir. All right. Next time. Wi-Fi. Next time we're, gonna, we're both we're in Console Energy it. Center for a, for a Monday Night Raw. We'll play X-Men. Instead of watching Raw. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do That'll do it for us this week. Game over, guys. <laughs>